Turning the tide's my ass. <clears throat> More like lying in your own pockets, you slimy shit. What the hell are you... Ah, Biddle. Oopsie daisy. You sent two dozen National Guardsmen to their deaths for a paycheck. When the President gets wind of this, you're a dead man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's just that the way the veins in your forehead are throbbing, it's so <laughs> comical. Mr. Assistant Secretary, these accusations sound serious, and... First of all, it's Mr. Secretary now. As in Secretary of War, as in the fucking right hand of God. Secondly, do you think the President of these United States is going to give a royal fuck about the pissant accusations of a podunk? <laughs> Go ahead, Rentier. Do it. Give me a reason to throw your cowpoke ass into Newgate and flens your father's legacy to the bone. The Harrow Institute has a much better ring to it, don't you think? Mr. Secretary, maybe it would be for the best if you... Maybe it would be best if you stopped interrupting me, you groveling mule! You want to make yourself useful? Get to the kitchen and fetch me a cup of coffee! Now fuck off and find some vampires to kill. That's much more your speed. You want something done? More money. Mr. Rentier, your father's waiting for you in the basement. Do you really feel war is coming? Full-blown war with the ticks? Your Dr. Blackwell deserves far more respect than the bureaucrats. The news is spreading fast. Until we get free of those paper pushers in D.C.? Yeah, well, I bet they wouldn't be so cocky if a tick came knocking on the White House door. That's what he said right before he died. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Mm. The limit door That's the alarming. Fucking bats. Fucking. But how did you manage to longevity? I'm surprised voltage that high didn't burn it out. It's all about the percentage of copper in the alloy. Yeah, I'll show you my notes. Seriously? I would love to see your original research. It would be an honor. Virgil and I were just having the most invigorating discussion. I was telling Director Rentier about my ideas for upgrading the gauntlet. Huh. I must say it's refreshing to see young blood like Mr. Olney's coursing through Calico. We'll need his vital spirit if we're to rebuild the Institute's power and vigor. Well done, son. I think we may have given him a few too many vaults. Glad to see you're in good shape, but uh, we've got a situation. In order to keep your condition quiet, Amelia told Harrow you died. He's pulled rank and is sending us out on money grubbing errands while Felicity's building her army. Harrow's head knows what's right, but his heart is tainted by lust for power and money. Uh, it's gonna get worse now that he got promoted. One wrong move and we're dead in the water. The one right move, and you could catch her and end this war on the subject of moving. You know what? Maybe let's wait for the dog to give the all clear before we start unbinding anyone. Oh, Edgar. Arrow's not an idiot. Without the Institute, this country would turn into a blood feast. Now, you tell me, son. What's more important? His approval or ending this war before it started? 
What did you see while Felicity was in your head? Death. Death. Horrible monsters appearing out of nowhere. Fire, smoke, everything. And box cars. Scores of them. Filled with blood. That's how she's transporting the leeches now? By train? That's not good, sirs. Dickinson is a major cattle railway hub. The trains run in all directions. If there's an outbreak, we won't be able to contain it.
glorified parasite! Ugh, how red! Look at us, facing off like our ancestors before us! You standing in the decay, dragging your club! Me, tearing you limb from limb and drinking you dry!
Progress with no thought spared for those paying the mortal cost of their quest for glory. That is true vampirism. My kind would never leave one of their children to die crying in the gutter. I won't let you turn them. You don't listen. <laughs> they don't matter, Jesse Rente. The sooner you understand that, the better. What now? You too scared to face me in your own flesh?
She's scared I might be able to stop her. Good.
relationship between the hunter and its prey. An understanding. Bring that somewhere, you crazy witch!
got you now. Or you can be part of a new opening chord of progress. <sighs> it's only natural to feel fear while standing on the precipice of change. Sometimes what you need is a little push. Let it break poor William's heart. <laughs> 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 